Rated M for Mature. My dear sister, I hope these words find you. They may be my last. A sentence has been passed by my jailers for the crimes that I refuse to confess. Like my brave comrades who fell before me, I shall be put to the sword in the very courtyard beneath my cell. I do not fear death. I welcome it with a smile, for it is better to be a crystal and broken than remain perfect like a tile upon the rooftop. This is not the end, dear sister. It is now that our plot must live on through you. So find solace in the bonds of others, for it is here that our dream takes flight. A new dawn is spreading across this land. For me, the sky awaits. Thinking about my initial vision for this game and the ideas I had seven years ago, I wondered whether players would be able to play and enjoy it. I honestly believe that many of those ideas and elements are now in the final game. As an open world, we reached a large scale of development where it would have been impossible for Yasuda to look into and follow up on every single detail of the game. Prior to this game, I had worked as the sole director of Team Ninja, together with my team. That framework didn't radically change, but in assigning multiple directors, we made sure to communicate through regular meetings involving the larger team to maintain quality. Obviously, it's not a task achievable alone. I believe that he managed to build a strong trust relationship with the other directors around him. That's the spirit. I'm counting on you. It turns out Yasuda had helped towards the end of my previous project. Oh, right. He was sharing a lot of feedback. I got to hear about his philosophy, which convinced me that I wanted to work with him. I remember Yasuda joining Team Ninja as a new graduate when we were working on Ninja Gaiden 2. I thought he was impressive, although he was still young. We soon noticed a shared understanding between us. I'd start explaining something and he'd already have grasped everything. Mm -hmm. He's an ally, a brother in arms. We've been working together for a long time. I'm also a fan of his games. I played so much Neo 2 that it almost started to affect my work. When he brought up the project, I saw how much planning research and effort Yasuda had already put into it. You could feel the passion from him and his team. In every meeting, it was obvious how he'd planned all the elements. Keishi has this talent to get people to work together. That was very stimulating for me. Inon is a composer with prolific experience overseas. He's a veteran in the field, but knew how to listen to our requests and proactively incorporate them into the project. It wasn't easy at the beginning. I really took upon myself to study Japanese music, um, study the scales, study the instruments. In fact, bought some of the instruments. And I can say that in the past two years, I really dove into 
this amazing world of Japanese music. At the very end, we had a recording session in London with an orchestra, which was where I got to meet him in person for the first time. I remember the smile on his face when we finally met. You and I are true friends now, no doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. We grew to a really large team on Rise of the Ronin, going through a long development period. It's the first time I'd worked on a project of this scale. Mm. Huh. There were times when we confronted each other, but the game improved as a result. From a personal perspective, my child was born right about the time I joined the game's development. He is three years old now, which makes me realize the time we've spent on this project. Over the long period of time we've been developing the work, it was really exciting to see how everything gradually started mm. coming together. I feel that Team Ninja has gained strength in its ability to deliver valuable experiences to players. I think we're able to target bigger titles and even greater challenges in the future. Thank you.